What is going on guys, Hard Drive Donkey here and today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, code a, a a chat spanner in Microsoft Visual Basic 2010. Um, this, I don't, I'm not actually sure if this software is free or not. I think there is a free version of it. But anyway, um, this chat spanner will basically, it's what it says, it'll just allow you to um like send I think I think it just allows you to send like the same message repeatedly every um second or something like that. I don't know but anyway let's get into it. So you're gonna wanna go to a new project. I'm gonna want to load up oh and go to a Windows Form application. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it YouTube tutorial, I guess. Um, and okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Um, finally. Um, so this is our form one, and uh, that's basically the window of it. Uh, now what you want to do is uh, just resize this. Oh, oops, sorry. Resize this so it's quite uh, small. You don't need the big at all. That's not what she said. Uh, that will do. Um, now you're going to want to add uh, two things. Well, th four things actually. Uh, Technically, you want to add two buttons. Sound like I said that to push them. Like two buttons, um, a text box, and a timer. Okay, now place your buttons like in the corner so it looks good. I'll just place them like randomly. Just place them down there in the corner. Or oh, in the bottom anyway. Oh, whoops. And then. Then uh, make your text box the uh, entire width of the f um, form. Okay, now. Uh, Oh yeah. So, uh, click like the form and go down to text and call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it chats. Did I actually just type chat ch chatter? What the hell? What made me type that? No. And hit enter, and as you can see up here, um, it says chat spammer. Click button one and uh, type and call it start button 2 call that stop okay so that is basically the uh, design of the thing done uh, now we just need to get into the coding so uh, double click uh, the start one and now um, yeah just start writing this code uh, the code will, if I remember, then the code will be in a description for lazy people. But uh, you want to type uh, timer one dot enabled equals true, and go back to the design. Double click stop. Uh, timer one dot enabled equals false that's done now you want to go back to the design and double click the timer and then you want to type send keys dot send 
uh, and then bracket text box one dot text and then close the bracket then hit enter and then write send keys dot send and then you want to do bracket quotation mark uh, squiggly bracket I forgot what that's called it uh, enter and then squiggly black black it squiggly that bracket uh, quotation mark and close it with a normal bracket and that is um, your coding done that's how easy it is and then go back to the design um, okay uh, yeah and then click this little green play button to start debugging and now it'll probably open them on my first monitor probably yep okay so here is your chat spammer in debugging mode and I'm gonna use uh, word pad oh wait wait where's it gone there he is okay no, I'm just gonna have to. Oh, hold on, sorry. There we go. Okay. Now, how this works is really simple. You just type whatever you want. So I'm going to type HDD for hard drive donkey. Eh, fuck. There we go. And then you want to click start. And then um, wherever you want to spam, whatever chat box you want to spam, just click. And it will just repeatedly go on and on and on until you finally click well when you open the chat spam again it'll temporarily pause and then you have to click stop otherwise it'll just continue um, so let's uh, test this out on Skype uh, you know what I'm on my new uh, account, my new Skype account. Don't ask me why I have my old account as a friend. I was just testing everything worked, so I'm gonna spam myself. Um, open up the spammer. Um, you're a fag. This is going to myself, so it's a bit retarded. Start and just. Oh, sorry, sorry. Click your. <laughs> I was actually doing the uh, add friend thing up here, but yeah, it's just gonna keep spamming. As you can see, it's still going because this bar is decreasing in size. I'll just uh, leave that for a sec. Um. So yeah, I'm actually gonna pause the video a sec. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay. I think it's. Oh no, never stopped. Okay, so stop. And this is all. Just to finish that off. Okay, so this is what I've done. Huh, they've all. Surely done more than that. I'm not actually sure how much I've done. I weren't actually gone for that long. So, you know. Anyway, let's clear that. So anyway guys, thank you for watching. This has been Hard Drive Junkie. Showing you how to make a code, a uh, chat spammer in Visual Microsoft Visual Basic 2010. Thank you for watching and... Yeah.